Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I left my phone at home again. Wouldn't be too much of an issue. I could turn around. It's just that I was halfway to my destination. So, uh, I can live without my phone easily enough, but I just like having it on me. I mean, I remember a time when we didn't have any phones to carry with us. Certainly nothing like the phones we have today, which are a little more than just phones. The vlog went up where I talked about a uh, new name for this summer's festival for vlogging, Festivlog. And I know it didn't exactly sound perfect, but here's the thing. All the other names are taken. Like, there are other suggestions you guys have made that are already being used by other people. I can't use the same name for a different event. It just generally doesn't work well that way. So I had to find something that was unique that nobody was using, including getting the .com version of it. And that speaks to a bigger issue of naming things anymore. You don't just have to get the .com, you have to get the Twitter account, then you have to get the YouTube account, then you have to get the, you know, all these accounts. I wasn't about to say the F word. I was, I was gonna say Facebook. Really. I got it. I probably should have changed my sweatshirt too while I was at it because I spilled water on it as I was rinsing off a pill that I dropped on the floor before I stuck it in my mouth. But I didn't. So I'm in a half, in a, in a, a half wet shirt that is a little cold, but it'll dry off. I kept reading comments that just sounded so incredibly ungrateful, like uh, for the giveaway that we did. So people were mad. I'm like, wait, wait, why are you mad? Like there was only going to be one person on this planet who participated who could get that as a random gift, a random giveaway recipient. I gave everybody a chance. That, that's as much as I could possibly do. I would love nothing more than to get everybody everything they wanted. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So, yeah, I, I don't know what's up with some ungrateful comments, but I, I don't know if I want to do another giveaway because of it. Some people are just mean. It's like they're real sore losers. I mean, I'm not saying they're losers necessarily, just that... All right, that guy has real antlers on his car. All right, little man. It's time for you to go away. Uh, no. I don't think you have much say in the matter, really, but instead of putting you in the box, as I walk past one of our motion detectors, I think we're just gonna stick you here in the media room. That's better than darkness for an entire year. Huh? Don't worry, I'll get your brother. I don't know if he's your brother, cousin, uncle, I don't want it. Don't have a choice. Do you want the box? No. Okay, then it's the media room. No. You know, you're not making this easy on yourself or on me. Damn it. There you go. Soon about to be joined by the three wise asses. By the way, this hoodie, I almost said uniform, it doesn't keep you warm when you're out in the cold, but it sure does keep you warm when you're in the heat. I am breaking a sweat in my Optimus Prime regalia. I guess I can call it regalia. There's a word we don't use every day. You'll fly again next year, unless I feel kind of crazy and pull you out in the middle of summer, you know, Christmas in July. We, ooh, your nose is wet. I got Rudolph's snot on me. It's not a real reindeer. I think what I'm going to miss most about those antlers is not being able to find my car as easily. <laughs> because believe it or not, uh, I would often lose. Glad I didn't do that on the road. I would have lost the antlers. I, I lose my car frequently. And it's just as easy to go scan and say, oh, there are the antlers. Even though I know there are other cars with antlers out there. While I wait for Pixie to come inside, let me go ahead and flip through to today's postcards. This one comes from Matthew, and I'm not going to try to get through his last name there. Either way, that's a lovely view. <laughs> Here's Regina's dog, Kellogg. Hey, Kellogg, could you somehow communicate with Pixie to let her know 
it's time to come in. Gina wanted me to pick her for the Christmas Day iPad mini giveaway. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, but we appreciate the postcard. There's a sleepy cat, Sammy, and he says hi from Wisconsin. Bacon jam? You've got to be kidding me, Tim. I was trying to pop my ears in that shot from the vlog that Johannes took. I got stuffed up. I don't handle the pressure well. Here's a postcard with three Apple fanboys. And the question, is one years old too young to use an iPad, or five years old, or three years old? I admit, this one took me a couple of seconds to get, but I get it. Two cans free? That's funny, Jesse. Here's an amazing sunrise in Devon, UK from Sam Rudd. Uh-oh, we have potheads sending us postcards now. Oh, Sam, you sure you wanted to pass this along? And in case you were wondering just how many postcards we've gone through, quite a few, all of which have been in the vlog. What about vlogger fair? As in a fair, like a festival fair. I still like the word festival though. You know, it just seems more vibrant. I know, festivlog is not exactly roll off the tongue-ish. Vlogger fair? Vlog fair? Problem is getting the domains. Vlogger fair. Vlogger, F-A-I-R. Bleem! Nah, it's a it's leftover pizza. We ordered it last night. God, we ordered it fresh. You can't actually order leftover pizza. Although, that might be a good business idea for somebody. Just delivering leftovers. This one has pepperoni, jalapeno, cheese. That porter that I sipped ever so briefly in yesterday's vlog was so good. So good, in fact, that... I'm going to go out right now and get another one since I only bought one. I'm going to go ahead and try to chill this glass and put it amongst the vegetables, which would certainly be healthier for me. Yep, Optimus Prime is probably going to get ID'd. Why would someone over the age of 21 wear this in public to buy alcohol? And I did bring my ID, although on my ID, I wasn't wearing anything half as much fun. A couple of you guys have been wondering where Diana's been over the past few days since she hasn't appeared in the vlogs. And you gotta understand, Diana doesn't really live on camera like I live on camera, so it can be stressful for her. I just gave her a few days off, which isn't bad, you know? She didn't have to do anything on camera. I think she appreciates it. It's kind of like a, another Christmas present that she didn't have to unwrap or that I didn't have to wrap at all. <laughs> Even better, I gotta find me more of those for next year. And while we're on the subject of fun childhood things that I can't let go of, some people have asked why I have Darth Vader's more than any other Star Wars things. And it's because it just seemed like the one thing I could collect in the Star Wars universe that I enjoyed that would allow me to continue a collection without being completely overwhelmed. You know, collecting everything in the universe is impractical, so I just narrowed it down to Vader. I refuse to let go of my childhood. Why? What's the point? So I can, quote unquote, grow up? Ha! There are two kinds of men in this universe. Men who refuse to let other men be themselves and real men. Oh, wow. Look at that, it frosted up. <laughs> All right, let's see if I give good head still. What do you guys think? I'm asking you, even though you're not gonna answer. Mm. Let's see if I can grow a blonde mustache here, shall we? <sighs> Did it work? Diana must have fallen asleep while she was thinking. Of course, when Diana finds out, she may not want to appear in the vlog for another five days. That's a risk I'm willing to take. What about you guys? No, oh, you just don't care. Wicket, 
Stop licking your sister's backside. Pixie, stop enjoying it so much. And to everybody else, thanks for liking and sharing our videos, as well as not licking my backside.